My father, Michael Landon, had been loved by millions. And now that he was gone, the world would mourn with us. Mourn the loss of a man who spent his life bringing loving families and honest values into their living rooms. But my father was much more complex than the simple, noble men he portrayed. And his own family life didn't always mirror the television images. I am my father's son. And I have struggled with his legacy. And my own. Hang on a second. Lord, you're beautiful. <laughs> Would you marry me? I already did. That's a relief. <laughs> All right, you got two home runs, huh? Mm -hmm. Did you beat up any wimps today? Just Mike. You wish. Come on, let's get our mitts. Mike, did you have a report card to give Dad? Up. Now, you know, all I care about, you do your best. You work hard. Any bad grades in effort? Only one. English. Well, that's one too many, son. Now, if you don't understand something, that's one thing. But there is no excuse for laziness. If it happens again, you're going to be spending weekends up in your room. You got me? Yes, sir. All right. Dad. We have no school tomorrow. Can we still go to work with you, please? Why? Please? Nothing good ever happens out there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wash behind your ears. <laughs> Cut! Cut, Andy, Andy. Go ahead and try to write the camera. That was very good for that. <laughs> you all right? You had all right, That was great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. Have a nice weekend. Mike. Uh, do you have time to look at a couple of script changes before nope. you split the time? <laughs> I miss my wife and baby, baby girl. girl. That was great. Dad. Hey, here, hey, wait. Oh. <laughs> All right, now remember, kids, we got an early morning tomorrow. Gonna pick up your brother Josh and go fishing. <laughs> That's him, Dan. I know that guy. I know him. Look, Dan, it's little Joe from Bonanza. Right. <laughs> How's Pa and Big Hoss, man? <laughs> hey, hey, show us that fast draw you got there, little joke. <laughs> hey, little joke. 
Hey, you ever seen one of these on the Panderosa, man? <laughs> Stay in the car, kids. What's he doing? I think Dad's gonna kick their butts. Oh. Oh. Now that I've got your undivided attention, it should be clear that I do not like my children exposed to that kind of disrespect. Yeah? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Clear? Uh -huh. All right. Uh. <laughs> hey, wake up, rise and fish. We have a dry night. Well, don't worry about it. Go on, go get cleaned up. I'll take care of the sheets. Let me take my son. Outgrow it. All right. Don't worry about it. At least your mother's not gonna hang the sheets out the window like mine did. But then again, your mother hasn't washed the sheets since I met her. Now go on, I'll stash these for Benny. Go on. I love you, Dad. I love you more. Now go on, the fish are waiting. Here you go, son. I got one all set up for you. <laughs> hey, uh, tell me something, would you? What's up with your brother, Mark? I hardly ever see him anymore. No, he's fine. He still works part-time at the market and he still plays piano every other second. I guess he's just too grown up to come around anymore, huh? I can dig that. As soon as I got away from my folks, I was long gone, too. <laughs> Harry, quick, get over here. Get a picture. Mr. Oh, do you mind? Oh, you don't mind, do you? Oh, uh, you are going to come make on, our on, vacation. Right? Do you know what this is? Here we go. Oh, oh you're so tall. You might want to put your hand around my, my shoulder, Mr. Landon. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's no longer. <laughs> 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 Josh. Time to go, son. Why do I have to go home so early? <sighs> because your mom has something special planned. Now, um, I promise next time you can spend the whole weekend, okay? Come on, son. We had a great time. <laughs> I feel sorry for Josh. Yeah, me too. I'd die if I couldn't see my dad every day. No, 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 no you're wrong. You don't know what you're no, no, you're wrong. Uh, Look, if Nixon was innocent, he would turn the tapes over to Judge Sharika. <laughs> you're completely missing my point. We're talking about the system here. We're talking about political sabotage, uh, partisan politics at its finest. That's what we're talking about. Of course, it's much easier to blame the system than hold the individual accountable, right? Lynn, I love your brother, but he's full of crap. Michael, pass the tartar sauce, would you, son? The man is a liar and a thief. Bob, hmm? never argue with someone that loves to argue. Lynn, we're not arguing. We're debating about the best foreign policy president this country has ever had. That's what we're doing. Oh. <laughs> ah. Excuse me. Ah. Bless you. Bless you. God yeah. bless you. Oh. 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 Mike. What? What you're teaching the children. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 oh.
<laughs> Come on, have him lighten up. Oh, jeez, he's choking again. Give him some air. Do something. Come on. Come on. Mike? Come on. Up you go. Get up. Come on. Oh. I told him to eat slowly and to chew his food. I have told him a million times. All right, it's all right. Next time, chew better. All right, son? How many times have I told you this? Mike, how many times have I told you to chew your food? You scared me to death. But, but Nixon is not as out of line as you think he is. Oh, come on. <laughs> I've been looking at some houses in Beverly Hills. I want you to look with me. Aren't you happy here? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> That's not it. Um, the truth is, we've run out of bedrooms. What do you mean we... <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that before? Well, you were too busy shoving food up your nose, for one thing. <laughs> oh, Lynn, baby, I'm so happy. Oh, mm. Mm. I'm so happy. I, I never thought that this could happen. Well, we always planned for a big family. No, no, no. I just, I, I mean, I never thought that I would be part of a happy family. I, I just never thought it was possible. Well, it is. And you are. I love you so much. Mm. Mm. <laughs> kids. Oh. Hey, kids. Hey, kids, 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 listen up. We're having a baby. <laughs> We're having a baby! <laughs> <laughs> so? Is that think? okay with you? Yeah. Is that baby. okay with you? It's okay with me. It's a 20,000 square foot house with nine bedrooms. And 13 bathrooms. <laughs> to buy toilet paper by the case. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, kids. Come on, why the, why the glum faces? It's gonna be so different living here. Sweetheart. It's the old house already. Come here. Have you been thinking about how much fun we can have here? We can go swimming, we can play baseball, uh, you can play tennis. It's so big. <laughs> Son, everything can be just the same as it was, only, only bigger. Come on, look up there. See that? That is your room. Michael, you can have practically the whole front of the house to yourself. Jack, how did your parents act before they got divorced? I mean, were there any signs? Over. You mean like fighting over everything or not speaking at all? Him traveling alone? Bishop to Queen, look five. Why? I don't know. Um, it, it's nothing. Never mind. Hey, uh, Dad's home. Over and out. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. Did you have a hard day? Yeah, I just need Chris. a little... I just need a little peace, that's all. Okay, everybody, we're due at Antonio's in one oh, no, hour. No, 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 to... honey, we're not going to Antonio's tonight, are we? Oh, I forgot. That, that's okay, I'll No, that's, that's, that's fine. Well, You've had a hard day, uh, I No, it's fine. It's fine. 
We'll go. Um, let's get something done with your hair. Come on, uh, Betty, help me get these kids together. Come on, now. Come on. Let's go. How many times I have to tell you? Not to jump on your father when he comes through the door. Uh, no, 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 no. Basta per la signore e vitello per signor Bert. <laughs> Thank ah, you. Tutta apposta. My kid, my kid, my kid. You're getting to be a big kid now, eh? You look just like your papa. <laughs> Listen, you ever want a job, you come see Antonio, all right? <laughs> uh, thank you, sir. That's, um, it's quite an offer. Niente. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I've been pretty desperate to work here, huh, Dad? Hey, don't you be so cocky, son. Most people work their butts off their entire lives without any recognition whatsoever. And you try hawking studio ads like my old man did, only to drop dead in a bowl of soup. If I didn't go to an audition with a friend and get lucky enough to get an acting job, I'd still be unloading freight cars, and you sure wouldn't be sitting here tonight where you are, mister. Do I get something to drink? Yeah, hey, hey, who... How about a glass of Mrs. Landon's favorite red wine? Never used to have to ask. What's going on? I have a basketball game on Saturday. Honey, I was talking to Dad. <sighs> yeah, that's just a makeup, makeup girl. She's young, she makes mistakes. Why does she get to you so? I don't know. Hey, how about a barbecue this weekend? It's been so long since we've had... Son, I was... I was thinking about maybe going fishing this weekend. <laughs> That's even better. No, no, I was... I was thinking about going alone. Look, son, I'm, I'm worn out. All right, I need a little space, a little, little room to myself. Here. I think that's a great idea. You... Give so much to everyone, to us. I, I think you probably need some time for yourself. Well, thank you, sweetheart. Hey, son. Time alone is just what I need. Casting into the wind, the warm sand. <laughs> your rod's so clean. So is your tackle box. Hi, how was it? Fish biting? No. I'm a little tired, sweetheart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a nap. Uh, yes. Can I help you? Um, I have a situation here, and, um... What can we do for you? It's probably nothing. <laughs> that was a great play in the night, son. You reached right up and grabbed that ball out of the sky. You are embarrassing. <laughs> week, look, week after week, you're embarrassing me. Why is that? Huh? What a jerk. What? I don't think that guy has any idea what he's doing to his son. When we get home, you're gonna take so many rounds. Until you get up, he's got to miss the ball. He's going to... Yeah, you know something? <laughs> That's exactly what my mother used to do. One day, I was, uh, what, maybe 14 years old, out in front of our drugstore with a bunch of my friends, right? Taxi cab comes screaming up to the front. She jumps out, starts hitting me over the head with a coat hanger, call me all kinds of names in front of my friends. So what'd you do? What'd I do? I made it like it was a joke. I said, hey, guys, you know, I think I got to go. My mother wants me. <laughs> Tell you something, son. I don't want to punch your lights out. So, Dad, is um, is everything all right with you and Mom? You know what that guy ought to do. 
He ought to tell his son. Son, listen. Some balls are bound to get by you, but just don't beat yourself up if they do. <laughs> this is a moment we don't want to forget. Cut. Thanks, Mr. Landon. Nice work, kids. All right, we'll reset for your mother's close-up. Mrs. Landon, a call for you. Okay. Hello. Mrs. Landon. Yes. Perry Investigations. I have information for you. I'm sorry to confirm your husband is having an affair with the makeup artist on his show. I have dates, times, and photographs. Thank you. I'll get back to you. Hey, Lynn. Lynn. Sweetheart, what's the matter? Why don't you tell me about your little secret? Action figure again. Hey, well, why don't we just go talk to your sister about that, huh? I've been trying to raise you. What are you doing? Dreaming of snow and ice. Hey, how about we get two ice blocks from the ice shed and slide down the hill at the country club? Yeah, like that could really happen. Oh, man, I've done it. I, I know I got a picture here. So... Here, see? Aspen. Man, what's with you? Something's going on at home. I think it's serious. <sighs> I mean, I never could talk to my mom before, but now my dad's getting weird, too. You're 15, man. You're not supposed to talk to your parents. They hate you, you hate them. Why do you think my mom has me here in the guest house? But it's different at my house. I mean, my dad's the best. He's everything. It's like that in everybody's house, man. <laughs> Some of us are better at hiding it. This stuff helps? Maybe. Sometimes. Too many things are changing. Keep it on our channel, Jack. He's just arrived from Dad. He has to shoot late, so he's going to meet you there. Beautiful. I don't know what your dad wants from me. One minute I'm a queen, the next minute I, I'm an absolute stranger. Where's that uh, silvery eyeshadow that you like so much? Let me help. You know, when your father and I were... When your father was with Dodi, you know, he came after me. I, I didn't go after him. I never wanted to be any kind of homewrecker or any... But what are you talking about? Knock, knock. Hey. Back here, I approach the bench. Yeah, listen, um, talk to Mom, because she's weirding out, and I need to go find some eyeshadow. You okay, sis? Tell me the affair was over. I have to believe him. I have to, I have to give my marriage a chance. I know. I know you do. Sit still, you keep moving. I keep moving so you can get it in my mouth. Uh -uh. Okay, shh, it's time. Now, Listen. For the favorite dramatic television program, the nominations are Family. Stop, stop it, Chris. Quincy. Look, there's Dad, look. The little House on the Prairie. And your favorite is Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I, I'm, uh, I'm a 
especially proud of this award. I love television. It's, it's one heck of a medium. And oh, she uh, looks nervous. If, if our show causes one child to, uh, to, to pick up a book and, and read it, then, then I'm especially proud. Because, uh, hey, Mom and Dad, if we don't, we don't start talking to our families, then I'm, I'm afraid we're going to have dire problems. Great. Said one. What's going on? Come here. Sit down, sir. Leslie, you uh, you know how much I love you. I think she's, she's so perfect. Dad, what's going on? I, I tried not to. Sweetie, I tried really hard not to hurt anybody. What are you talking about? Your daddy has met and fallen in love with another woman. Please don't hate me, sweetheart. No. <laughs> Leslie, I, 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 I don't know what it is. Please don't. No. Leslie. Go to your room. told her the truth. Oh, who is the truth, Mike? That you just led me to the apartment of the woman you're sleeping with? No, I didn't lead you anywhere. You followed me, remember? You told me it was over. Well, I thought it was over. I, I just can't seem to help myself. I'm all, I'm all screwed up in the head. Uh, but. Listen, uh, sweetheart, it's not, it's not, it's not you, it's me. Um, I'm just not excited about my work anymore. Oh, you're not excited. How can you be so selfish? I'm not excited about anything here, anymore, Mike. Lynn, and it's, it's tearing me apart. I mean, people that see a whole different thing, but I, I, I feel like, I, I feel like nothing. I, I even think that you and the kids, that you don't love me for who I am. You love me for what I'm oh my supposed God. to I can't But you listen to me. For... I can't believe you're saying this to me. Fine, fine. Then quit the business. Who cares? I don't care if you are a plumber or a movie star. You don't care. Just don't you don't care. You don't care. What look at I'm giving you. I'm giving you everything you ever wanted in your whole life. And I've lived like a saint through the whole damn thing. Our life, we have a life, and we have a happy family. We have obligations. I don't want we any have... more obligations. I've got enough obligations. What I want is her. I want, I want, I want her, her excitement about my work. I want her innocence. I, I, I want. Her youth won't bring back yours. No, you... I don't deserve this. No, honey, but I deserve this. Get out. Get out. He was living in a hotel, but now he has a real house, and we can go visit him. He's here! Hey, Dad. Yeah, I missed you, too. Yeah, I'm doing great, just great. You work things out. You always do. Sweetheart, I'm not cold, are you? No. <laughs> you look good. Thank you, so do you. Hey, Dad. Hey, son. 
Come on, let's go. Let's go. Get in the car. Get in the car. Wear your jackets, okay? Fortune will soon await you. <laughs> I was not talking about your inheritance. Dad! <laughs> What's the hairy tance? <clears throat> well, son, a, uh, a hairy tance is a ferocious monster that makes families fight one another. That's silly. <laughs> Come on, Daddy, read yours. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> You will soon meet a mysterious stranger. <laughs> Terrific. Let's see if I don't have enough trouble as it is, right? <laughs> uh, hey, kids, I'm, uh, I'm really glad we had a chance to spend some time together. You have fun? You have fun with me, huh? I like the haunted house best. <laughs> I like the real fortune teller lady best. Oh, yeah? What, uh, what real fortune did the lady tell you? I asked her if you and Mommy would get back together, and she said yes. She doesn't even know her mom. I need a fork. Chris, son, I think the lady might know her stuff. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm still hoping that your mom and I will get back together. Well, that depends, Dad. Depends on what, Les? Are you still seeing, you know? I'll get you a fork, Chris. No. I'm not, sweetheart. That's over. Good. And where's the silverware in this place? Sweetheart, slow down. You want to keep eating like that, you're gonna be big as a barn. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, diamond earrings. Hey, who do these belong to? That's, I don't know, son. Maybe the, uh, maybe the cleaning lady. What do you say, kids? What do you want? You want uh, ice cream or a movie? Ice, ice cream, cream and a movie. <laughs> How about you, son? What do you say? Ice cream, a movie? What? Whatever. I got things to do at home. Sweetheart, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, it's good. for this. I am not going to let him rub my nose in it. He's moved on. I'm taking the kids to Mexico. Come on, when you're done. Oh, okay. said that I look fat. No, honey, you look fine. Just... Well, when you bend over like that, it... Hello? Hi, Bob. No. 
No, that's okay. Just tell me. Okay. I guess that's it then. That was Uncle Bob here. Your father filed for a divorce. But the fortune teller lady said... She wasn't real, Shauna. Just pretend. Does this mean we can't go out and have fun? No, it doesn't. I'll be damned if we're gonna sit around here in this room and mope. We are gonna have fun. What a buzzer. What's he want? Our mother. Mom. A sick one. A jerk. All right, all right. That's it. I'm out of here. What are you doing? I need, I'm going back. I need some money for a taxi. Honey, you have to, The money's in my purse. Yeah, so I want to leave now. Where are your manners in public? You insult me, my partner? Hey, she's not your partner, all right, greaseball. Hey, do that again, I'm going to belt you. You are thinking about us. Michael. Michael? Hey. Come here. The last time I nursed a black eye, it was your dad's. Would you believe he got in a fight over? Some wig I was wearing. A big old pink puffy thing, and it didn't even look like hair. He just, well, he'd had a little too much to drink, and he decided it was time to defend my honor. You wore a pink wig. Yes. <laughs> it was very much the style. And if there's one thing your father demanded of me, it was to be stylish. You know, you really reminded me of him back there, so brave and handsome and foolish. I didn't feel so brave. I'm scared. I know, honey. We all are. Stuff's gone. He took everything. He probably just wanted to spare you kids the pain.
back. On weekends. <coughs> I need stuff you really don't need. Dad knows he screwed up. He'll fix things. He always does. Yeah. He was just on vacation for a while with someone besides your mom. <laughs> Shut up, Jack. Hey, it's tougher for you. Everyone knows who your dad is. The rep you gotta live up to. <laughs> Never thought I'd be thankful to my dad for being a nobody. Yeah, where are we going now? I've always wanted to go into that house. I'm going to. What if somebody's home? So don't let them see you. Pretty cool to me. Once again, I call the cops. Is that cool or what, man? <laughs> That's it, Michael. I'm not gonna lie for you anymore. You're gonna have to find a way to face him and deal with his new life. I'm not ready to meet her. What about you, Mom? What kind of life is getting all fixed up for him? Then to spend the rest of the day in bed. Uh, there's someone here to see you. Dad! Ta-da! What? Oh, what the <laughs> way? Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, happy birthday, big old boy. <laughs> here you go. No way. This is so incredible. <laughs> hey, let's go for a spin. You can be my first passenger. <laughs> Santa Barbara? Santa can't. I'm, I'm already a little late for Cindy's. You understand, right? But hey, still on to meet her next week, right? Sure, right. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mwah. son, enjoy it. And everybody turn around, and up out of the water comes nothing but nothing but skin and black eyebrows, right? <laughs> Mark looking for his, trying to put his hair back on. We had a two-hour break that day because I had to dry his hair piece and put his hair. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, listen, I'll uh, I'll meet you later. Come on, come on, come on. Listen, Cindy is uh, really kind of nervous about meeting you two. She wants to make sure that you like her. Not you're you're gonna like her. You're gonna love her. She says she's funny, she's cute, and. Uh, here she is. <laughs> Cindy, I want you to meet my kids. This is Mike Jr. 
Hello. And this, this is my Leslie. Hi, Cindy. I, I like your blouse. <laughs> Thanks. I like yours, too. Isn't that just like two women? They're always yakking about clothes, son. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Bless you. Phew. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> oh that was our joke. Son, son, li listen to me. Your, your mom, she just wanted a different deal. You know, the, the big house, the, the fancy clothes, the Beverly Hills luncheons. I mean, it, it's fine, but it's just not me. Listen, son, Cindy likes the same things that I like. The simple life. Son, you, un you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah, Dad. Yeah, I do. Go. Race you to the bottom. This road will kill ourselves. <sighs> Too bad. an hour, Michael? 80 miles an hour? What were you thinking? Well, you weren't thinking. That's the problem. So you met his lover. So what? You could have killed yourself. Or somebody else, for that matter. This behavior has got to stop. Do you hear me?
Michael? Michael? What now? I warned you. I warned you. Michael, how many times did I tell you? How many times did we talk about this? I warned you that if you stopped applying yourself, you would be on your own. What are you talking about? I'm working my butt off. Save it. You've been kicked out of SC. Your father and I are cutting off your money. Cutting me off? How the hell do you expect me to pay for anything? Well, let's see. You might start by getting a job. You know, it's a good thing he's not cutting your money off. Or you'd have to get a job, too. <laughs> That's it. You are out. You're 20 years old. It's time to grow up. Hey, Jack. You, uh, you didn't call me back. Been busy, man. School, you know, life. So can I stay here or not? Sorry, it's, uh, my mom. She thinks you really lost it, man. I'm afraid you'll burn the house down or something. Hey, look, uh, I gotta go. What are you doing here? Why aren't you in school? Got kicked out. Oh, no. Did Mom go off? Oh, that's an understatement. Anyway, look, uh, I need to crash with you for a while until I get a job, OK? Thanks, sis. Sure. I don't really even have you know, dishwashing experience. <laughs> we had housekeepers. But I hope... Gonna be fine, Mike. Fine. You are so lovely. I'm happy because you are here at the restaurant and I'm gonna have a special for you. Mikey, Mike, Mike and more. Come on, presto. Eh? Oh, yeah. I have wonderful things I'm gonna make with my own hands. Mamma mia, come on, a quick, a pick, a pick, a pick. It's a Michael Landon's a kid, you know. I'm trying to train him, but. Uh, uh. Hey. Be something either really good or really bad. Michael Landon's mistress pregnant. <laughs> Why do they print that stuff? <laughs> Come on, Les, we figured this would happen. We are already so distant from him. With a baby, I know it'll get worse. Worse? We hardly ever see him now. <laughs> well, maybe if we get him off by himself, you know? Let him know how we really feel. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we can tell him what we feel, and he'll argue about how we really feel. You want to slow down on those things? You keep eating like that, you're going to get fat. Dad is bad enough. I don't need it from you, too. Les, I'm sorry. Les. Oh, God. I really loved last week's show, Dad. Writing and editing so much. You must misdirect it. Not that you misdirect. All right, let's let's cut through it, shall we? What do you guys want? Well, you know, things have obviously been different lately. You know, and, and 
been so preoccupied lately that we just... Now, with Cindy pregnant, we're feeling like... <clears throat> Shauna and Chris, now they're too young to judge me. But I see that you two more than make up the difference, don't you? Hang on. What, what about my right to be happy? I mean, I mean, what, how come you don't want me to be happy? Kids, come on. I mean, what's the matter with me being happy once in a while? Of course we want you to be happy. It's just that we're afraid. What are you afraid of? Afraid of what? Of losing you more than we already have. Michael, I'm right here. You want to talk to me? I'm here. Talk to me. What is it? What do you want? Hmm? I know what you want. So I can't give that to you anymore. Listen, kids, sometimes people, they, 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 they just grow apart. Now, why does it have to be such a, such a big problem? You don't get it. I don't get what, Michael? What is it that I don't get? That you two don't want me to be happy because something has changed between your mother and I, and now you want me to be miserable, too. Is that it? Is that what I don't get? I've gone and upset Cindy. Are you happy? This isn't about her. God, I am so pissed! Go on, Michael, go on. Get mad, get angry. Beat me up. I must have uh, eaten something bad. Even if I don't see you do it, I can tell. By your bloodshot eyes and the smell. You make yourself puke every day. Please don't tell Mom and Dad. Promise me you're going to get some help. I just thought that if I was thinner, Dad... Care about you more? We're on our own now. We gotta look out for each other. You hear me? Jody, it's Lynn. Lynn Landon. Been a long time. I know this is years late, but I never understood until now, until it happened to me. I need to apologize to you for the affair I had with Mike. I had absolutely no right. You know, I never even think about it anymore. It's ancient history. blessing upon them and also upon all those gathered here this day with them. May God cause Michael and Sidney to prosper in their new life together 
And may they learn to share together and understand the joys and triumphs that lay Like many of you here today, I had a hit and miss church upbringing. I knew a lot about God, but I didn't really know him. And that's how most people are. They know about him, but do they really know him? And I found myself sitting in a setback in life. And when you have a setback, it's easy to keep taking a step back. And I was like the prodigal son who lost everything he had on riotous living. But one day, something changed. I found my father, God the Father. He changed my life from the inside out and gave me a reason to live forever. Hey, Dad. Son, it's been a while since you've been out. Kind of like your stepbrothers coming around less and less. How's it going? It's going okay. Shooting some industrial videos during the day and still at Antonio's at night. So how is your mother? She's doing great. Sean and Chris tell me, uh, Tell me she's been going to church? It's true. <laughs> no, no, since my, uh, my mother was raised Catholic, you know, and uh, she always told Dad and me we were going to burn in hell because we were Jewish. Of course, that was after she made me study the Torah for a year to get bar mitzvahs. Did she ever make you go to church? What, are you kidding me? Son, we were one of the only two Jewish families in a town full of anti-Semitics. We couldn't even date girls who went to church. You know, kids used to used to feel my forehead to see if I had horns or not. Pretty stupid kids. Yeah. The double whammy came right on my bar mitzvah day. See, that's when dear old mom told me that it was all meaningless. Yeah, she'd had me baptized as a baby without my father even knowing it, so she told me it was just a joke. A joke she and him played to see who could outdo the other one. But you know what? In spite of all that, I I knew that you didn't just find God in a book or some building somewhere. No, I knew that you could find God right out here. Roar of the ocean, your smile. I a smile as a little boy. And in my work. <laughs> now this kid from Collingswood, New Jersey is playing an angel on TV. I mean, Go figure. So that, that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if there's something for me to do on highway. Because I need a real job, Dad. A career I can build. All right. Camera department. You start at the very bottom. You do exactly as you're told. And if you screw anything up, I want you to come running to me to bail you out. You got it? I won't let you down, Dad. Thanks. I'm sorry, man. My alarm didn't go off. No magazines loaded. The cart's a mess. You're making me look real bad, man. Come on, Junior. Ready to shoot. You can't. Nothing's loaded. Damn it, Mike. This is inexcusable. I'm sorry, no, Mr. No, no, no. Sorry doesn't cut it. You didn't do your job. And because of your screw up, you're wasting a lot of people's time. I've never had a crew that shut a company down. I don't care who your father is. Now you get your lazy ass in gear, get the right film off the truck and load it in five, or you're fired. 
Okay, let's rehearse it. Let's go. Come on. Would you look at this picture? Is this not the beautiful, most beautiful baby you've ever seen in your whole life? Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face, huh? Yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. <laughs> Now you do a lot of things well, but I think this is the best. You make great babies. Well, I pick great mamas. I mean, that's a trick. Cindy had this baby without, look at that, without a hitch. And uh, she looks really great. I got beautiful girls, and I have never been happier in my whole life. Never been happier. <laughs> look, look at this. Whoa. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> hey. I didn't see your car up front. I took a walk. I had to think. How does a man trade in one family for another again and again? Hey, these kids are getting too damn old. I'll make some younger ones. They can't talk back. You know, I used to feel sorry for my stepbrother, Josh. Now I am Josh. How does a man leave his family and not even say he's sorry? I don't know. Hell, this whole thing could be eating him up too, you know? Every rule Dad taught us, he's broken. He's lied, he's cheated. Who doesn't? Come on, let's go inside. Yeah, maybe my childhood was an illusion. Maybe it was just a movie Dad ran. <laughs> I made it all up. Take me home. Where is home these days? You're wasting. Get back in the car. No. I told you I'm going home. Come on, Mike. You don't even live here anymore. I'm leaving, Mike. I just want to see my old room. Hey, I'm going to call the cops. your father. I need you. There's some of you that are here today and you realize there must be more to life than just barely getting by and you want to change. I want every head bowed and every eye closed. And some of you need to receive the Lord into your life. If that's you, if you want that change today, I want you to lift your hand right now. And by that, you're saying, yes, God, change my life. Are you editing all weekend, or...? Nope. <clears throat> Moving this weekend. Moving? Yeah. Cindy found a bigger house in Malibu. Huh. That's the way she can ride her horses. I get back into playing tennis. Kids can have a pool to swim in. Mr. Landon? Yeah. I guess we'll make a wishes here. Enjoy. Hey! Welcome to the set. Glad to see you're still keeping it simple, Dad. Hi. Corinne. Oh, you look beautiful. Thanks. Look at you. <laughs> Come on, I want you to meet everybody. Hey, Dad. Hey, How are you? 
This, is, uh, this show's great for all the screwed up families out there. Which is every family I know. Mm, not mine. My family's always been there for me when I needed them. You know, my parents, <laughs> they are so much in love. It's, it's really wonderful to see them. Amazing. Hearing you talk about your family the other day. Reminded me of my childhood. I knew if there was a pretty face behind my voice, I had to meet you. So it took you so long. Two weeks. Two weeks is long? It seemed like forever to me. Well, the face wasn't that pretty. Hey. It was gorgeous. I guess I just had to find my nerve. Found my nerve lost my vision. <laughs> How's that? You fogged up my glasses. <laughs> oh! oh my god! Oh! Here you go, Dad. Hey, thank you, son. No problem. Can you imagine living down here? I mean, think about it. trying to raise a family under these circumstances. I don't know how they do it. Mm. I don't either. You know Cherie, the girl I've been seeing? Yeah. I've asked her to marry me. You're kidding. Well, how long have you been seeing her, son? Over a year. Oh, the wedding's in December. To December? <laughs> Congratulations, son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Hey, come here. Come on. Oh. Of course, you know, if I had to do it all over again, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably wait a little older. You know, a little, a little. It's like Hemingway said, true love always ends badly. And unless both people are fortunate enough to die in the same accident, then they're just chasing misery and they're going to catch it. Come on, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Fighting up. Hey, Andy, my 23-year-old son's getting married. That's wonderful. Sorry I'm late. So, you know, the 10 people just informed me that they won't guarantee against leaks in December. So, I think we should move the reception to a hotel. What do you think? I, you know, who wants to hassle it with weather and tents? I think we should wait, you know, not force this. Hassle? Force this? How can you even say those words? What, what's happened? Nothing. Not good enough, Mike. Talk to me. I don't know. You know, I was talking to my dad. Oh, you're not marrying your father. You're marrying me. Cherie, wait. You know it's not because I don't love you. Because I do. It's just that I'm scared. I'm scared that uh, I'm gonna end up just like him. You know, and leave you and not really know why. Mike, you recognize your fear. We're talking about it. The cycle's already broken. You're right. I'm not like my father. You know, I, I don't need to look to him for approval. I just need to look inside. And inside I find us. That's good. That's fine. Hey, son. Congratulations, son. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, she's a beaut, Michael. She's kind. She's pretty. I think you two are going to build a 
build a fine, fine life together, son. I think you finally got everything you need. Thanks, Dad. I couldn't agree with you more. All right, come on. Let's go get, uh, let's get some food. Okay. How about a drink? <laughs> Happy anniversary to us. Happy anniversary to us. Wow. <laughs> oh, no bubbly for me. But this is a special occasion. Doctor's orders. What? <laughs> what? Are you, are you kidding? Congratulations, Daddy. I'm gonna be a dad. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Isn't it wonderful? I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> Mom, here's your first look at your new grandchild. You're going to love this. You can't believe how active this little one is. What's wrong? Uh, your dad called. He'd like all the kids to meet, meet him down at the house. Why? Uh, just call your dad, honey. Mom, just tell me. Your dad's been diagnosed with inoperable pancreatic cancer, and it doesn't look good. Oh. <laughs> All right, here are the rules. I want no tears. I want no sad faces. I want no phony happy faces, either. I'm gonna call a press conference and tell everybody that I'm not just gonna lie down and let this happen to me. And uh, I want life for the little ones to be as normal as possible, so you bigger kids, I want you to limit your visitations to weekends only. Okay? Breaker, Breaker, I'm looking for help. I need alternative cancer cures. I desperately need a cure. Come back. Breaker, Breaker, I need medical advice. Is anybody out there? Come back. I need alternative cancer cures. I'm looking for any kind of hope. You going to talk to me, or you gonna let me sit out here and rot? Jack. I heard it on the news, Mike. I put my ears on for old time's sake, and there you were. I'm so sorry, man. What can I do? Over. Tell me that I didn't lose the best friend that I've ever had. I'm here. Tell me that I can find a cure before he dies. God. How are you? Good. You look great, man. Oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Okay. Yeah, no, I've got that. I've got that. Right. Right. But does this particular drug work on the immune system? Well, it's looking very, very positive. <sighs> okay, good. No, no, it's, uh, it's adenocarcinoma. Yeah, I, I don't know why they give the longest names to the diseases that give you the shortest amount of time to live, but, um, what it means is that I can't pretend that I have a hangnail. That's all. Uh, 
So I'm going in for traditional chemotherapy and whatever alternative medicine seem sensible. But, but hey, hey, as long as I can still do this. Well, I guess I'm doing all right. Huh? Look at him. Thanks a lot. Always putting on a show, even when he should be resting. Your dad belongs to the world. Always has. I'm losing my father. That's enough. Thanks. Thanks for And I haven't even really found him yet. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. You got a second to talk? Of course. Come on in. Sit down. Are you all right? Tell me something about Dad that I don't know. Something that'll make all the pieces fit. Oh, Lord. Um, honey, your dad's a very complicated man. But why? Why did he leave us? I don't know for sure, but... Do you remember how you felt when you felt like your dad failed us? How you fell apart? Imagine that happened to you at eight years old. Your dad told me this story once. It was about his eighth birthday, and he had, he'd asked his mom for weeks to have a party. So they sent out the invitations. They decorated the house, and an hour before the guests were supposed to arrive, she canceled it. She said she didn't like eight-year-old boys. She never celebrated him in that house, ever again. It felt like he didn't exist. It nearly destroyed him. And, and I think the thing that hurt him the most was that he, he couldn't talk to his father about it. That's why he wrote all those shows about happy families. Because that's what he wished his childhood had been. Same mistake, Michael. You talk to him. I'm afraid to. I don't even know how to make him listen. Maybe you could write him a letter.
Hey, Dad. I've, uh, I've been doing some research on my own. This drug is being used in Mexico with amazing results. Everybody's got a cure. Son, do you have any idea how many people have written me this week? I mean, I understand. So, it's all right. Let's take a walk. Son, I appreciate you bringing the medicine. You got to know, I got a medicine cabinet full of miracle cures from Mexico. It's not going to work. Sit down. Come on, sit, sit down. Light's pretty here, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's my favorite spot. Uh... You've lost more weight, Dad. <laughs> yeah. The tumor's grown to twice the size, son. It won't be long now. Dad. Look, son, I'm not afraid. You know, I'm not afraid to die. Michael, I just don't want to be kept alive on any of those stinking machines. I mean, it's my life, right? And I think I'm the best judge of when it's over and when it's not over. Dad, there's something that I want to tell you. What am I going to do with the little kids? I got kids that are scared, Mike. Dad, there's something that I want to tell you, okay? I don't know where to start. Well, maybe it's best that you didn't start, son, because I'm not feeling so good out here. Here, after all, I'm going to go on inside. Dad, I have to say this. Now listen to me. What is it, Michael? You were right. All along, I've wanted you to be miserable. But it's not because I didn't love you. Because I love you more than anybody in this whole world. I just, I wanted you to realize that you'd made a mistake. And come back to us. When I was a kid, Dad, you were the best. And I miss that. So I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you got that off your chest. So I'm glad. Winker, Tommy Tinker, no. <sighs> nose smeller, mouth eater, chin chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm real sorry about all this. Uh... It's 
okay, Dad. Yeah, it's okay. those blinds, would you, son? I'm, uh, I'm really tired, Michael. Uh, I think I'm gonna get some rest. Get a little sleep. Sleep. I love you, Dad. I love you more. It's been years since my father's passing. I know now that he loved me all along. But as I reflect on my own life and my father's, I realize that the choices we make in life often twist our paths beyond our control. They cause us to be and do things we'd never accept if we could step outside of ourselves and see clearly. By finally allowing him to be just a man, with human frailties and limitations, as well as strengths and virtues. I was able to put aside blame, forgive us both, and get on with my life.